Well, my friends, we've had a very, very full day of content, of conversations, of wisdom sharing, of knowledge sharing, of inspiration in so many different ways. Thank you, Marty, for taking the time to share with us. Be optimistic, don't lose hope. I think those were excellent words uh, for us to remember from Marty Barron. Uh, listen, I want to thank you all for being part of this Mayborn Literary Nonfiction Conference here in 2021. Uh, to your health, healing the nation, healing the news, healing yourself. Please continue to tweet, share, post any ideas, images, uh, thoughts you have about this year's conference. Uh, hashtag Mayborn LitCon 2021. Tag us at Mayborn uh, LitCon or Mayborn uh, UNT. Uh, let me thank you. Thanks so many folks for being part of making this conference happen. Uh, the students uh, who uh, from Hatch Visuals, the students who worked on social media throughout the past uh, 12 hours or so, posting and sharing and liking uh, comments to the Hatch Visual students who took pictures last night and today, uh, uh, to uh, my uh, colleagues, uh, uh, Dean Miller, uh, uh, Jim Dale, Jake Straka, Tammy Deaton, and the many others who helped pull this all together to President Smotrix, Provost Cowley, and Dean Brown for believing that this conference is still an integral part of what this university does uh, as part of this community and the community of writers and journalists and authors and storytellers around the country. A couple of reminders, if you would like to get those books that you've seen uh, from, uh, and if you're curious about our authors, remember Tarabang Books uh, has a link. We'll make sure that link is on the mayborn.com. It's right here on the screen for you to Link, link to and order those books uh, so you can catch up on your reading as we get into these winter months. For, uh, you know, remember uh, to uh, check out our podcast, Mayborn Lit Conversations. Go to the Mayborn.com, uh, who can certainly, uh, you know, will be, uh, you know, you could catch up with some of the conversations we've had in the past and some that will, you know, add on to there. You heard Marty Barron as one of our fireside chats. Remember, we'll have Nene Schwartz and Catrice Hardy as part of those fireside chats. You can, you will have access to this. Stay tuned to your email for this week. You'll get a link from us uh, that will allow you to access those uh, those videos of the sessions you may have missed during the day, or you want to go back and catch. You can still register. Uh, those of you who have friends who want to get to check out these sessions, you can still register until November 15th. You will get more information about the writing contest. Um, I know many of you will want to know more about the Brown Books Publishing Group uh, uh, Manuscript Challenge $50,000 uh, uh, award to the winner of that contest. Uh, to our sponsors, uh, Mr. Sue Bayborn, thank you for all you've done for our program, uh, for investing in our students' educations, for believing in this conference, to Bloomberg, for all the, uh, the years that you partnered with us, PEN America, Denton Record Chronicle, Texas Tribune, and Terabang Books, KERA, uh, and all of you out there for helping us make this happen. Uh, to Jonathan Paul uh, and his team of students from Media Arts who helped produce the back end of this production. Uh, and on behalf of myself, Neil Foote, uh, and all of us here at the Mayborn, thank you for supporting us. And please keep the stories going. If I may, let me uh, conclude with a quote from my favorite writer and really the inspiration behind how Mayborn Baby Shoes contest. It's none of their business that you have to learn to write. Let them think you were born that way. Good luck, everyone. Have a great uh, year, and hopefully we'll see you in person next year. Take care now.